Welcome back to Scrum Mastery Challenge. This is episode four, and this challenge is a little bit different to the others. Let's see what our contestants have in store for them this week. inanimate object that somehow reflects an aspect of agile delivery. The best photograph wins. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Yes, so they need to get out and about to find something they can take a photograph of that will represent an aspect of agile delivery. What's great about this episode is that I don't need to do a lot of explaining. Our contestants will do it for me. Let's see how Christina got on first. So how did you find the photo challenge? Quite tough. Yeah? Yeah. The thing that I was trying to capture was around the evolution of what Agile is all about for me. The first picture I took was of the daffodils because, you know, flowers grow and they bloom and they, okay, eventually might die, but so do some products. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was a nice start to the walk. Then I saw this, I saw a really cool sign which, um, Initially, I took a picture of it because it had the seven written on it, and then I thought, oh, the seven wastes. But then I saw the two arrows that were pointing, and I thought, that's quite nice in terms of feedback loops. Mm -hmm. And then we walked past the church, and there, there was a... Um, could be anything? Could be anything. Absolutely anything. Yeah. Simon just said evangelical, and I just for me, some people are very evangelical about agile, and they're very pure, and it's it can be detrimental I think. Oh and then another one I, I liked was um, there was a poster which said report it now and that r reminded me of when things are not going in the right direction or we need to stop we stop whether it's we don't want to spend any more money on developing this product or whether we need to stop because we haven't understood it. I kind of like that sort of call it as you see it um, pull the call almost. But I think the one that's probably the winner for me was the credit card sign okay. which said discover because for me agile agile ways of working it's all about discovery it's all about evolution that's the picture i'm going to pick as my picture for the challenge brilliant so many different aspects of agile delivery there and she's picked her entry to be judged Let's get an insight into what Helen sees when wandering around looking for inanimate, agile objects. Waste. Wastefulness. Waste, yeah. So I'm thinking um, we want to grow people, we want to grow teams, so we've got new flowers poking through growth. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I'm loving this one. So this is a windy path, mm -hmm. so agility is a journey and so this kind of path represents kind of like journey that you're probably going to have to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Collaboration, getting around a table and working together. So this probably represents better ideas um, and there's bird feeders so you've got to feed the good ideas so mm. feed your team pizza and good stuff will happen. Mm -hmm. But I think the one that I'm gonna go for uh, is the house. Okay. Looking at that picture there's a number of different things that I could have pulled out but I think one of the biggest things about agile delivery for me is it's about collaboration and when I stepped back and looked at the house again, 
I think that this house belongs to um, husband and wife who run a business. And so when I reflect upon that, this kind of whole area, this place that I'm in, is one big collaboration. People having to work together with people that they don't know, people come into their homes, and so it's, it's collaboration for me. So, a number of different aspects of agility there, from waste, to ideas, from visibility, to growth. But the overall theme for Helen was one of collaboration, and she decided to illustrate that with a picture of the house. Very creative. Next up is Freya. I didn't have that many ideas when I first found the challenge, but then when I was walking around, I found and picked up quite a few things that I thought would be good. First thing that I thought of was a string of fairy lights because it's like a light bulb idea, light bulb moment. There was a book called Small Great Things, and I thought that you can have lots of little good things to make one really good thing. I took a picture of a dance school door because all the students will have to work in the teams and they have to be very agile to be able to perform well but then most of the time they're being told what to do by like a teacher um, so it's not very self organising. Um, but then my final choice was Jenga because everyone's ideas get piled up to make one big sort of uh, project and then the sticks um, are the people in the team and when one gets taken out or is like somebody pulling out or giving up on the idea then everything falls apart and you need the team to work together to get it to be like the best, like the highest it can get. Mm -hmm. Freya picked up on the ideas theme and how team members' ideas can come together in the same way that lots of small pieces of delivery can create something great. She looked at the somewhat literal aspect of agility in terms of flexible dancers before settling on the analogy of Jenga with the building blocks of ideas and team members and how the sense of team can be easily destabilised by one person withdrawing or not participating constructively. Interesting. Let's see what Sam found when he went out on his agile photograph hunt. Take a photograph of an inanimate object that somehow reflects an aspect of agile delivery. Best photograph wins. You have 30 minutes. <sighs> right. Agile delivery. Right. It's not agile delivery, but that's so many shoes that are just outside that I just thought I needed to share that with other people. Right. <laughs> There's a dream catcher there. That's, <laughs> that's for some companies. That's what, that's what Agile is. We're a scrum team now. now. All our dreams have come true. <laughs> I mean, in some respects, a jukebox is a continuous delivery of value, right? In, in an issue, because you not play them all at the same time either. You get one, one good song after the other. You know, sometimes you don't get value, but that's kind of Agile as well, right? I think I'm failing a principle here as well, which is like maximizing the amount of work not done. Maybe. Do you want a beer? Because <laughs> <laughs> the beer pump is a is an is a, an excellent example of, of, of a value delivery system. Continuous delivery, value, flow. Yeah, beautiful. Also, the same mechanism can be reused for any beer. <laughs> Reusability. It's the dream. Cheers. Oh, I think I've earned that today as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's it. Simplicity, maximising the amount of work not done, continuous delivery of value, flow, reusability. Classic Sam, you might say. From iterative delivery of value, while acknowledging that you don't always get what you want, to appreciating that some see Agile as a dream, a silver bullet, before setting his mind to the simplest thing that would work, and going to the pub. For many, it would be hard to argue his rationale for the beer pump's analogy to Agile delivery, but later on we'll see if our judges agree with him. 
And finally, we have Paul. It seems a shame to spoil these beautiful seals. Take a photograph of an inanimate object that somehow reflects an aspect of agile delivery. Best photograph wins. You have 30 minutes, your time starts now. Started with a clock. The idea is looping and time box loops. Picture of a rugby ball from the, uh, the parallels with Scrum at the Gale Rugby Union. Now I've got a picture of, uh, I assume it's a milk urn, churn, milk urn, what do they call them? And it had, I, looked, I was drawn to it by the markings on the side as some kind of indication of capacity. It made me think about team capacity. I've got a picture of some ivy crawling up a brick pillar, the idea of kind of more em emergent growth. And we've got a town notice board. Teams, scrum boards are very much the same type of thing, share information radiators. Um, again, some more plants growing through, um, finding their way through brickwork. Tree roots growing through, or pushing out bricks in the wall. A mirror for uh, ease of access and, and visibility of traffic, trying to increase the transparency of information. And I've got a patched in piece of brickwork. It's a little bit like trying to patch something together so it reminded me a little bit of some technical debt, something like that. So which one are you going to go for? Which I can only choose one. You have to choose, choose one. one. Oh. No, I'm going to go for the town notice board. Again, a mixture of analogies from time boxing to capacity to the game of rugby, emergent growth and technical debt before settling on the idea of visibility, community and team communication. So there we have our five photographs. Just like in episode one, to avoid any disharmony between myself and the contestants and any claim of bias, I've taken myself out of the judging process. This time, I've asked some independent and world famous Agile coaches from around the globe to judge this challenge. They had no idea who took the photographs, so let's see what they thought. First up is Karen Greaves, formerly of South Africa, but now based in New Zealand. Hi, so um, I'm judging the photo um, competition for Jeff, and I think my first um, choice would be for the photo of the discoverer, discover sign. I think um, it's a great idea that Agile really is about discovery and learning rather than you know, a fixed destination where once we're Agile, check, we mark that box. And so I really like that as an idea. Uh, second up, I would say the notice board. Um, I really like the idea of visibility and, and also community, that um, having a kind of community notice board. So I think teams are also about that. I would say the Jenga one, I like that idea. Um, so I put it at number three. I, I like that everybody contributes, but I, I do having built Jenga, I know it's a little fragile. And so I don't really like the idea of agile teams being that fragile that one person can completely disrupt them. Although maybe that is true. Um, and then I think I put the bear as number four and then the house as number five. That I don't know, that one didn't really speak to me. Um, yeah, that's it. Next up, we have Howard Sublett from the good old US of A. This is the Agile Photograph Challenge, uh, and my rankings from number five to number one would be Jenga is number five. Uh, yes, uh, it's about being together, but when you, the get object of this game is to pull pieces apart. So that's my number five. Number four is the house. Yes, we are together, uh, but uh, there's still some parts in that I'm not real happy about. I love the picture of discover for my number three. Um, so because we are all about self-learning and continuous learning, anything that involves beer gets a higher rating with me, just FYI in the future, but the beer tap continuous flow and it flows happiness. And my number one is what I would call an information radiator at, uh, a, a housing project or whatever the fit, the photograph was, but big visible radiators are really, really crucial for and Agile development. Hi, my name is Ashlyn Green. I'm an Agile coach based in Ireland. 
Okay, for the challenge about take a photograph of an inanimate object that somehow reflects an aspect of agile delivery, um, the one that I've picked to go first is the beer pumps. Um, if you know me, you probably know why I picked that. I think the flow and continuous delivery of value are two of the core concepts that um, we have within Agile um, is really resonating at the minute with me um, and resonates a lot with the teams that I'm working with because that's where some of their challenges are is how we actually get what is value and, and how do we deliver that value frequently throughout the project. The second one that I chose was the community notice board. One concept of agility is all about making everything visible. So putting everything up there so everybody can see it. Um, there's, there's a place where people can go to find out the information that they need. It's in a common spot that people understand where to go to. And this idea of that you build a community around that so that everybody is part of something. And then the third um, place picture that I chose was the Discover card because I think Agile is a journey. There is no single right answer. It's all about discovering what's your journey and, and how should you go on it. Hi everyone, this is Jo and I'm here to give my results for the photograph challenge. In first place, I have got the community board with visibility and community. For me, visibility is one of the most important aspects of agility. Even just the small step of creating visibility of our work and where our work is in the system can dramatically help to improve things. For number two, I had the Jenga game, which I thought was a really, really good metaphor for collaboration and for um, co-creation, uh, building on ideas, building on each other's skills and working together. In third place, I had the beer taps, which was a great metaphor for me for flow. I really enjoyed that. Uh, after that, I really liked the discover picture. It was a very tough decision uh, between the two of those. Discovery is a very big part of uh, software delivery specifically in complex environments uh, and finally there was the photograph of the house I really like the value and the aspect of collaboration uh, I just I guess I didn't really get the metaphor Hi this is John Gedge live in sunny Melbourne and I've got my results here for the agile photo challenge so for me there's a clear winner this time and that is the Jenga photo I think this is a really great metaphor for an effective team I love the fact it represents the way that members of an effective team depend on each other and the way that they can build on each other's ideas. I also like the fact that it represents, so if you mess around with a team too much, if you try to take people out of the team and replace them with new people, at some point it's all going to come crashing down and you're going to be left to clear up the mess. Um, so yep, yeah, that's my winner. See you soon. So after the five judges submitted their scores, Paul came out on top, with Christina and Sam in joint second, then Freya, and finally Helen. So that means we've got another change at the top of the leaderboard, with Paul taking over by half a point from Sam, who's also just half a point of Helen, who's also just half a point ahead of Christina. So close. Anyway. That brings us to the end of our time box for episode four of Scrum Mastery Challenge, and we're almost done. I'd like to thank our judges for participating, and now we're halfway through our challenges. Or are we? Keep an eye out this week is all I'll say. In the meantime, maybe keep an eye out for what inanimate objects might speak to you about Agile values and principles. If nothing else, you might get a fresh perspective of the world around you. Until next time, Good luck with your own Scrum Mastery challenges. And to get us to Dun Dun, here are the credits.